Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the next episode of uh, Tech One In, where we uh, redo old sites for uh, limited fun and no profit. So, uh, last time, which was actually yesterday, um, we have discovered um, a problem with misencoded text field lookup in which uh, I have to do, uh, whenever we are uh, doing a model lookup on misencoded char uh, or a text field, uh, it needs to be properly re-encoded. So first, um, <clears throat> let me actually finish that migration because I'm not sure it finished. Uh, so that was Python managed by, uh, I have accidentally, um, turned the computer off too early. Um, so let's see whether there will be some migrations or not. Um, but let it run. And me meanwhile, I would clean up uh, the stuff that I did yesterday. So um, this goes for. Uh, this definitely needs to be wrapped. Uh, this should be a function. Like, let's not copy paste this. And the question is where to extract that. Text, I guess. Hmm. This is a text, so re encode. Well, misencode. Is probably uh, the proper version, and we return the text. And this is should uh, pretend text is uh, inverse on the fifty and. Well, take a misrepresented um, and on the fifth text in ISO uh, actually no what you're doing here is take a properly represented text Um, encode into uh, uh, twelve fifty and decode back into Latin, uh, which is ISO file. What is it actually? Um, so it would be ISO. I eight 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 five nine two right yeah um, eight eight five nine two so it could be encoded back as such over the wire has to be used when querying database for data stored by original application represented by a misencoded char or text field. And let me turn off volume from my um, additional computer where I wave at you guys. Good, so um, from text input, this encode and this encode is going to be used here. Now, the good thing is that we don't have to. Uh, 
use this on slugs since uh, slugs by the definition uh, do not uh, slugs by their definition uh, do not uh, contain any non ASCII characters so we should be good there uh, but let me make sure uh, I guess views is the only point of entry. Currently, where we do doing lookups, my my intuition is that so far we haven't done anything where this would be a problem. Um, it will be in the future. Uh, but right now, all model lookups are just by. Approvals. Except for authentication, actually. Because user profile definitely can contain a nick. So let me make a note, note, this should be a separate commit, um, to make it... more readable. Uh, this is exactly the point where it would be very... Um, uh, let's call it very confusing, potentially, down the road. Uh, if... Um, Marketing the authors would be coupled uh, with handling the re-encoding. Uh, so let's extract the re-encoding to the migration only. And then uh, this should be another commit and possible pull request. So authenticate uh, with uh, re-encode. Um, maybe I should be using uh, my electronic note system uh, for the streams, so you could see those, actually. Um, and I do wonder whether it makes a difference when you screen it. Uh, I, I mean, it doesn't, uh, it shouldn't matter um, once you have actually migrated the user. Because in that case, uh, the field is no longer and, uh, and, uh, no longer uses the misencoded character field. But for that original migration and lookup, uh, I think it matters. Uh, so let's fix that afterwards. Um, so we do have the migration command. And we still have errors with duplicate entry. For user, she, we do have quite a bit of authors that don't exist. Um, which sounds like I should write ask editors where they remember how those happen. But why do we have a duplicate entry here? Um, this doesn't contain any extra signs, like non ASCII signs. Author type was set correctly, I saw it there. Um, 
You are lowercase improperly and doing the lookup. I have no idea. It happens on the same author. I mean, the alternative would be to always ask the current um, basically create or update in case you're missing the cache. Yeah, let's do that, but I have to make a personal break here, so Give me a sec, we'll be back soon. Apologies for the delay and welcome back. Um, in which I've been trying to debug what was happening here. And uh, I actually wonder whether Django doesn't have a uh, object just create or update. And that's the easiest solution here and it seems that no hmm yeah so the only way it's doing this is uh Doing get and catching do not exist. I mean, the, the thing is, um, if we would be using SQL, um, there is a way to do that, uh, but I think the reason why Django doesn't have it is that it's uh, MySQL specific. Uh, and I you know, g given uh, Django is trying to be um, database agnostic, and if anything, it's uh, primarily Postgres. Uh, I think this is where they're heading. Um, but um, so far, this only happened for author types. So let's add this as a card. Um, If alter exist, which is if uh, alter is alter objects get for this user profile that is bound to exist. Do use a different um, I do, do use a different uh, flavor of syntax I guess uh, looks like I should I mean um, in a larger project I would uh, use something like black uh, but the thing is that this is a single person project so for, for once um, I like to use my uh, have my syntax as I like it, as opposed to how you know, the whole litany of people like it. So uh, either uh, it's retrieved or when it doesn't exist, it's created and it's added to the cache. 
and uh, this will only give us this could still give us the primary error problem um, but it will only happen if we would add uh, the user ID with the wrong author type uh, which would point to some different bug uh, that we have so, uh, let's take a look mm. you can also see how uh, this type of error uh, when you're working on top of uh, unknown data that's possibly not good data uh, it is uh, hard to anticipate the situation like we're basically discovering the data shape uh, nevertheless uh, once we have that we could move on uh, with working on the template and now that I think about it I'm wondering that I would maybe put this one back and uh, commit so we have some reasonable history and this is in the common article list we have um, I dot author dot name here so let me first put it back to author so we have this relatively easy thing and this looks like we do have a migration and we do have quite a few of authors that don't have corresponding uh, models so we'll have to handle them so let, let, let's add me to uh, this to a checklist uh, so I think that this right this is a good reason to have those separate profiles okay so maybe I mean maybe let's uh, handle it right now so we do have an author uh, in creations And I guess maybe what we should care about is uh, user type, website type, or um, let's call it anonymous user. And for anonymous users, we are just going to display uh, anonymous uh, user nick. And that's going to be uh, again a char field. And it's going to be anonymous user type. And let's call it um, anonymous user. And if you are going to have that, then we are going to return self anonymous user nick. And during migration. 
Uh, let's skip this guy. And if user profile doesn't exist, so profile is going to get created there. Uh, so as a follow up, we are going to create an outer. And in case we don't have a profile, that means that we are in the anonymous user territory. And we haven't found it in cache. Uh, so that's what you're going to rely on for time being, um, unless we hit another cache problem. We are going to create an outer where outer type is going to be anonymous user and we are going to provide it with creation that outer and now I'm thinking we have a mistake there. Because what I did here is that I'm uh, lowering the author's name. Uh, that is correct for the purpose of lookup, but not for storage. But then it makes sense for website and for authors we are not creating the uh, storage until now so this should actually work well so we have to make the migration now uh, so it's going to be author anonymous author So we now have a new database, and now if we migrate all authors, then we should have a cache buildup. And now what what should happen is uh, adding author links to all the anonymous users. Which seem to be happening. So cool. In that case, uh, I would say that this is good step one. So let's add the management command. Uh, the only question is whether not whether I shouldn't be able to squash the migrations since they were not run on production yet, and they're un unnecessarily noise. Um, Recent exactly. Oh, cool. So it uh, manage by squash migrations, and we are going to squash 0048 and 050, and it needs to have an up name. Yes. Yes, I am sure that the old ones are not applied, so... Julio... Create my alter. This worked really well. 
better than I expected. Um, I mean, how do I like delete them? Uh, so this will send my computer in freeze again and Well, we can add migrations once that is done. We can add templates. And migrations. Yep. So. This is in theory deployable, uh, but I would refrain from it uh, until we're sure about uh, how we display the address profile, um, because we may want to redo the uh, outer model again. So let me have tea for that. Let me have the for that, and uh, then we can go with the outer profile, I think. Um, let me on the background. Well, actually, I can do it here. It is here. Let me just see how tests are doing. Um, yeah, cool, yeah. All right. So we have a helter now, and uh, now we have to link to it. And in the template, I think that it really looks like we should have a proper uh, template tag for that. The, uh, because the usage would be out, outer link and what we are giving it is the article object and that should be all. Ta-da! End of story. Well, author, it's not just link, uh, because you're also rendering the name. Let me think. And I shall just change in the chat. It's an author tag, link, name. I think it's, uh, you know, in our case, it's useful to have it together, whether to break it down to, to subtext uh, is questionable. Um, display outer, outer display, let's call it this way. And uh, this will need a template stack. Uh, here. And I think that that belongs to creations. So this will be inclusion tag. Um, the argument will be a creation subclass uh, creation outdoor display and that 
will be it and uh, we will return outdoor URL and outdoor name and in that template creations um, let's use dash since that looks I somehow migrated to uh, so outdoor display I'm thinking about whether it should be a dash snippet or something I, I, I think that this is fine and that's going to be one of those now, um, that we don't have any information that this display shouldn't happen anymore. Um, this is going to be the author name. Here's going to be outdoor URL. Since uh, we can do the reverse lookup here. Um, yeah. So we have a creation subclass. Uh, the creation subclass should now always include a link to author. And if not author, actually, or in case, uh, this raises an error because this raised a database error. Um, uh, what is a good exception to catch? It was raising like really, I think, my SQL core error. So, probably exception and base exception. And in that case, um, Outdoor URL would be just hash, it will not lead anywhere. And author name is going to be unknown. Uh, so, author URL and author name. And if you don't have an author, It's the same. Uh, is there any way to... Well, um, what I could do would be, you know, if not Arthur, um, raise value error, uh, which would put me into this exception path and I don't have to copy paste. Uh, Using exceptions for normal, f I mean, this is not normal flow. Using uh, exceptions for normal flow, this is not really a good pattern. So this is a trade-off between uh, copy-pasting and, uh, you know, changing stuff on a single place. I would go for that. Uh, this, this shouldn't happen after the migration. Uh, so this is what I wanted to do. Um, Interviews, we have the proper way to um, look up loggers. Uh, I, I never I never remember this one. It's like, um, so uh, in here. We have to look. 
sockets. And uh, we can actually look exception. So we'll have that trace back on whether it was a database or a value error. And um, author not found. Uh, migration, data migration error, is it? For creation, this and we should get a subclass. And I think that logger exception doesn't need that exception as an argument. No, so so we don't have to actually put it into um, into a variable. This should stringify automatically. So those are the, this is the defensive path. <laughs> and because whatever we're going to do next, we don't want to um, get it covered by the exception and uh, we can't do it on the top level since this is a valid code path, uh, we'll do else. So if exception was not traced, we can rely on having uh, an author. And in that case, author URL is going to be, well, author.url and author name is going to be author.name and let's get uh, some attributes for it. And it's not creation rating, it's creation subclass, of course. So... This, uh, I think that uh, this is the point in which I s should start creating a more robust test to it. So let's talk about what we have. This needs at least sanity, sanity check and um, I'm totally missing a robust uh, fixtures to do that. Well, let's finish this and start building it. Um, creations and it's on model. So we do have name and now we need to have, well, I changed my mind. Uh, this, sh this should be profile URL. And um, I mean, sure, why not? It's not going to do anything super complicated, so let's make it a property. Um, and profile URL is just a reverse uh, URL view lookup which I keep forgetting how to do from view. Uh, so let's look it up. Um, because that's also uh, Django reverse URL view in, well, I could look at the, in the jungle template text. Uh, oh, there's a guy. No, 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 no. Document, official documentation preferred for breakfast. So jungle URLs reverse. And 
Oh. So one thing I'm missing, and I'm quite sure there is a shortcut for that, is how do I go back to when I've been writing? Um, this needs to happen. Uh, what's it called? Can't go to last edit. Because this is super important for those uh, imports when uh, the uh, well, when the visual steer doesn't do automatic imports correctly. And it needs a package, really. Two thousand eighteen. Um, this sounds like something that should be in the editor. Command K, Command Q, cool. Uh, except this doesn't do what I wanted. Uh, oh, because it's Command, which seems to be Mac specific. So go to last edit location. Um, come on. Oh, so it's a combination. Well, so what constitutes a command in this case? Control K, Control Q. Exactly, so like. Oh, because mm, this is going only across files. This is not what I want. Ah, never mind. Uh, next time. This uh, seems worth of the extension. Uh, this, this is super cool in one of the editors I've been using. It's like a huge productivity boost. Um, at least for my style of writing. Uh, so we have the reverse right. Yes. So reverse and uh, I think it relies on the uh, can't reverse my space reels, yes. Um, okay, and this is so uh, right, we've hit this, so this needs to be namespaced and The one we want to do is alter detail and uh, the key 
keyword arguments is going to be outer ID and slug. And outer ID is always going to be the self primary key. And I was like, so we do have a way to create slug. So slug is going to be create slug from a slug. <laughs> but the slug is going to depend on the type. So uh, I do wonder whether there is a better way to use this trifecta. I mean subclasses, uh, and like have a more complicated uh, subclass um, hierarchy, which uh, you know that's what um, that's what all object-oriented programmers would do. But since those are database classes, like it would make everything way more complicated. Uh, so I would argue that this is actually easier because in this case for user type uh, the slug is going to be the user nick for the website type I would say that the slug is hard coded to web and for the anonymous user type the slug is uh, uh, user nick and this is actually not slug this is like display name okay so we have a profile URL Uh, we have the outer display tag and if the migration went well and it seems it did then uh, we should be able to run the server and Take a look at what do you have here? And by here I meant not on production, but um, on our little dev server. For which, uh, why is this on this desktop? Huh. Give me a new window. Uh, so, localhost, if this wakes up. And in here, Hmm. Just of note, is it everywhere or uh, looks like I've probably fucked up something for some other template stack. Um, because also I paste it but no user detail is not even there so what is it uh, creation rating
Oh, right. You know when be, when copy pasting, uh, one shouldn't forget to rename stuff. And uh, the template tag here is. display indeed yeah okay and this displays to hard coded author URL so what am I doing wrong here? Just make sure it's displaying what I think it's displaying. Yeah, auto URL is a string. What? This is proper reverse. Uh, am I using the, it as a template tag properly? World creations, it is a template tag. Uh, well, it is actually rendering the templates, otherwise there would be no link. Um, oh, wait, no, 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 this uh, outdoor display. Right, maybe actually doing it as a outer detail, outer display. I think that those two should be unified. They are the same thing. Uh, and this is displaying none. Ah, no, this, this is the uh, author detail page. This is author display uh, link, I guess. And that would be a better name. Uh, let's rename it. So, author. Right, profile, this is correct, um, but in the uh, tax outdoor display link. So author the profile URL displayed to none. Uh, 
is it possible that self dot user is no it's not possible it's none can create slack return none not really so I say um this points to let's test idea so let's stop being lazy me and do that um Template text, I guess. And so make it a Python module and test creations template text. And let me get inspiration because there is a setup on the internet. Uh, so Django template text testing. Okay, so maybe um, case dot by and uh, we'll have the template test case, so we don't have to do this over and over. And we'll use this as a base. Um, so from cases, from case, uh, don't play this case, and you're going to do. Um, this outer link and uh, um, okay. And uh, test user link. Now, do I have some fixtures? Well, I mean, we do have some fixtures, but test fixtures for handling uh, this now. So we definitely need pages fixture. And then I do wonder where to put um, whether I want like test case specific basic infrastructure or uh, I will want to do this again. Mm. In between all tests that will need it. I say I do it manually from objects because it's actually more uh, future proof. Um, so what we'll need, so from uh, models, we'll need outer and we'll need, let's make it a common article. Well, what is actually the simplest 
equation that we have. Um, when I look at the creation subclasses, Well, quest but costs very special, so probably really a common article. Which should actually be called, um, you know, text article, but whatever. So... Let's do that in setup. Um, let's call the parent. Um, right, so it's not needed, right? Um, I keep forgetting this for Biden three. Yep, we don't have to call them. So call the test setup and then we are gonna set up wallet author of type user. So it's going to be author. Does it need to be in database? I think that we can, we can we can actually get away without touching database. I think here. Um, so the since it's outer, it also needs a user. Uh, so we are going to get. Uh, user profile and the only thing we should need there is nick and author is going to be referring to the user And the author type is going to be author user type. And with that, we can create an article, which is going to be a common article. And it will have an author that's going to be an author, our, our author, so valid author. Um, hmm. and now I have to look up what the attributes are. Um, no, 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 this is all not necessary it needs a name uh, so test article and author will be by coincidence same name so let's not do it like this but uh, uh, so fuser and it will have an email that will also 
proposal cor corresponds to a random email. And that's going to be test.example.com. So we don't do anything stupid in the future. Uh, so we have all this. So now if we test the user link. Well, first, uh, this maybe actually should be a utility method, and we should test the um, user links or models. Because that will help us uh, with debugging this. Okay, so in tests, let me create. Um, Um, fixtures, I guess. Or, um, user generators. model generator actually uh, so from the model generator um, that one's going to need those and will return Collection and will be called um, get valid article chain, I guess. And this will get you. User author and common article. Can I do dictionary in, uh, in expansion in Python? Like if I have a, a defined user, can I do this? The type of an object is this set, right? I forgot about uh, the existence of set. Oh, so the answer is no. Um, in which case, we have to do like user, user, and author, author, and article, article. And can I at least do, so if I have a dictionary, let's user user, can I do, I didn't make some sense. This would have to be a set, Never mind. Uh, let's be returning dictionary and unpack it. Like, uh, I'm thinking about uh, whether there's like a one line unpacking, but which is very very helpful in uh, other languages. Uh, if if there's an easy way to set multiple variables uh, from the dictionary, so I you know I don't have to be doing this packing and unpacking, but never mind. So, um, from uh, model generator, let's import this guy, and uh, uh, 
so user is data user and so author of type user is user we're going to be testing multiple and this is the last one user uh, author uh, article right and this of course needs to be author uh, okay so pulling it like this and this should give us something in the models so here we test this is for author actually so test author um, nothing special here otherwise no We could actually go for simple test case in the case article. Because we're potentially not using database and only if uh, people do that, um, then they should be able to do and the uh, uh, multi-inheritance trick. Uh, so let's do simple this case because that saves us quite a bit of time. And uh, for model author, we're not going to be rendering templates. So let's also do simple test case. We shouldn't need pages, and uh, let's test the link. So that's used. Oh no, it's creations. And in here, uh, first of all. We want to uh, see if names were properly inferred. Uh, so in this case, uh, that the name is author for self uh, author user name. So I need a basic sanity check. So image by test, uh, and we are going for just this models. Actually, just this daughter. And I should maybe turn the. Uh, Tune down on the logging. So let me go to locals. Local it by and turn this to info. Uh, will it help? It will. And the other one is I do have a all of this uh, test setup. So is there an easy way to run a single uh, test? Uh, let's see, let's call it Python and a single test. So this is like run the whole test suite and uh, just mark it. Because, uh, 
this is it about console, this is not what I want. Oh, it's uh, running a test suite, but the whole test suite. No, really what I want now. Anyhow. Uh, so, get void article chain. It's not my single position argument self. So here we can also see how um, me wanting to uh, have a new computer with NVMD disks is deserved. Um, because this is totally IO bound. And most of the CPU is actually the streaming software. Um, right, uh, running two tests in parallel if they're working on the same database, um, not so good. So, um, this should be working now. And you can see how um, working and not working with uh, data uh, with um, right, sorry, just going to fix this first. Um, right now, outer is outer. And in this context, we really only are returning those. Um, like the, th the thing is that this should be reused as its own building block. So empathizing that it's valid is moot uh, because that's uh, the default context. So it should be on the calling unit test to rename it, rename it as they see fit. Uh, now, uh, you can also see how I'm still making mistakes uh, f that would be fixed by compiler, uh, but it's also fixed by test, so, yeah. Uh, personal preference. Uh, now, names inferred correctly, and now the URL. Uh, so, we are... Let's really call it profile URL. And I would expect uh, what would I expect? Localhost. Well, this shouldn't be full URL, hopefully. Uh, so what I would expect here is this guy. So ID should be one, slug should be author, and this may needs in the model generator adding a primary key. Uh, and in this case, ID primary key is abstracted. So let's see. Um, you know, running a test suite is the new compiling. Doing that, we should actually ask for the URL. And if that works well, uh, we can move on to the, the template tag. 
So, uh, going for uh. Uh, author has no attributes. Uh, URL that's probably not true. Well, it is probably true. Ah, naming stuff and then actually remembering it. Two different things. Um, so in this case, uh, we will have uh, and there is going to be a render template and what we are putting in is going to be load creations fair let's not forget about that um, and then the display outdoor display um, let's call it article for simplicity and then the second argument is going to be context and in the context we are set we will have to send the article and that's going to be the self article Okay, fair, we have a problem on the model level. So why is this non? Are we setting the proper type? Because anonymous user Nick So this would happen if we have a wrong uh, user type for the attributes that we filled. Um, well, definitely let's log it. Um, so if no display. I should note that uh, none of this uh, should under normal circumstances uh, be an issue. And also, oh, let's be more curious. Uh, like under normal circumstances, <laughs> we should try to have your data clean. Uh, but it's just not the reality um, when working with real systems. So migration error is um, no display name for outdoor um, and let's define string and we are going to return complicated version well not really I think that uh, string should be just a uh, sort of name and for the pur uh, purpose of debugging uh, we should just add uh, this guy And uh, I'm starting to add tags uh, because those are used for, for alerting. Uh, so when you um, when you are going to watch log afterwards, so this is easy to catch uh, in whatever uh, logging service we'll be using. 
Okay, so... Um, this should be displayed, um, but what I wanted to verify is that uh, I think that we... I mean, let's take a look. What is the user type? And it is author type. And we should return what we are uh, reversing. Nice. Bad metal signature. Much better. Uh, but nevertheless, since we are here, uh, we are rendering the template. And what we want to uh, expect is. Well. Uh, this is going to get complicated in terms of white space, I think. Uh, and doing like uh, HTML equal is a bit complicated. But what's going to be there is the real author and uh, ref is. And ref and the author's name. So author's name is going to be author, and ref should be uh, the one in the test. So this guy uh, and I want to test them only template text this time uh, yep. and you're not sending any uh, templates in Xers Yep, this looks good except for the aforementioned uh, white space problems. Uh, so either I can adjust it like completely as it is, uh, or uh, figure out an HTML uh, equals. Uh, let's take a look whether there is something for Django. But um, no. Responses no. no. Oh, there is a, a sort of HTML like equal. Cool. Uh, 
else in the sample disk case. Cool. Uh, so let's try that. In which case, I would actually argue that uh, I'm just gonna go on a single line. I mean, yeah. The string could go on a single line. Let's see, tea time. Uh, right. But otherwise, it looks like we're good. Let's see how it renders uh, when you actually go for server. But this seems reasonable. Um, let's add those so we don't forget. Um, and let me close the door more because it seems like we have more agitated people in this household. Uh, no air gap streaming studio, sorry. Um, all right. So we have this rendered and uh, now we are basically into the business of properly displaying the uh, author's profile. So let's do a very crude version to commit. Uh, all right, so author detail. Um, I assume that we're Sending something there. Um, outer profile, just the outer. Okay. I guess we should have some statistics cached at least. Um, because this is going to be a pretty mm, query intensive, uh, let's call it. So this is maybe something that uh, we should regularly duplicate, actually. Um, yeah, let's first make it a method uh, on authors and then figure out how, like what to do with that. Um, but first, author detail class should be author name, which I don't see here. And the item I also uh, uh, if author dot slug. Uh, doesn't equal slack, uh, then we should redirect people to uh, this view indeed. profile I hope let me double check now author detail this uh, user detail author detail user profile author detail this is wrong Let me be consistent. Let's call this author detail. Uh, so author detail. Let's under the user profile later. Uh, 
Uh, so author detail and uh, keyword arguments are uh, author ID is author primary key and slug is whatever author thing the slug is. Uh, so Outer object has no attribute slug, really? Well, if it doesn't, let's create it. Um, it's pretty easy because it's uh, create slug from name. Coleo now. Why is the name not here? It's a very good question. Since self name definitely worked, uh, so you know, author name and whatnot is working, um, but we are sending in the author as a string, not as an object. Okay, so now. Uh, what we want to do is to go through all object, call creative objects, uh, and display statistics. Um, now, if that should be same for all authors. Um, now, we probably want to display a slightly different information based on whether it's a anonymous user or type of user it is. Um, so this goes into, uh, well, it's not really a paragraph. Um, but if author author type uh, right, uh, I can't do equals in template. This is some its own special syntax just because I, or or no? Oh, no, it should work. So if author type is same as Oh, let me verify. Um, Django templates. Can I use variables in comparisons though? Hopefully, let's see. So if author type is same as author dot user um, type. Uh, this means registered user, or else it would be anonymous user. Um, we 
we can say registered user. And it's a display profile. I mean, no, I'll just say registered user and display link. If it's an anonymous user, then we're going to say unregistered user and uh, otherwise we're going to say um, web page. Uh, And actually, let's be defensive. Um, this goes for website type. Uh, and for if the viewer is authenticated, uh, we uh, may so let's let's actually publish a, a, a link to the website and uh, here let's just do Okay, uh, so this is easy uh, since we do uh, outdoor dot website, right? And this requires lookup, and it's the uh, URL. CDCZ profile, I mean, user profile. User detail, as we have decided to unify. <laughs> and uh, that uses uh, user ID. D, which is uh, outer that's outer um, I mean outer dot user dot primary key and outer dot user dot slug in strings need to be properly enclosed. Coolio. Um, below that, uh, um, below that, we'll need to uh, display a list of publication. And give me a moment. 
I will pause for a bit. If I figure out how to mute this. And uh, this will be it for today, I'm sorry.